Posterior approach to the knee. Very important access to the posterior side of the knee. The posterior approach is primarily a neurovascular approach. Orthopedically, it rarely is needed because the medial and lateral approaches each provide good access to half the posterior capsule. Its uses include the following. Repair of the neurovascular structures that run behind the knee in cases of trauma. Repair of avulsion fractures of the site of attachment of the posterior cruciate ligament to the tibia. The recession of gastrocnemius muscle heads in cases of contracture. Lengthening of hamstring tendons. Excision of Baker's cyst and other popliteal cysts. Access to the posterior capsule of the knee. Place the patient prone on the operating table. Use a tourniquet for all procedures except vascular repairs. Landmarks. Palpate the two heads of the gastrocnemius muscle at their origin on the posterior femoral surface just above the medial and lateral condyles. They are not as easy to feel as the hamstring tendons just above them. Palpate the semimembranosus and semitendinosus muscles on the medial border of the popliteal fossa. The semitendinosus feels round, the semimembranosus is deeper and remains muscular to its insertion. Use a gently curved incision. Start laterally over the biceps femoris muscle and bring the incision obliquely across the popliteal fossa. Turn downward over the medial head of the gastrocnemius muscle and run the incision inferiorly into the calf figure. There is no true internervous plane in this dissection, which exposes the contents of the popliteal fossa by incising the deep fascia over it and pulling apart the three muscles that form its boundaries. Reflect the skin flaps with the underlying subcutaneous fat. The vein is easier to identify if the leg is not exsanguinated fully before the tourniquet is applied. Running on the lateral side of the vein is the medial sural cutaneous nerve. The small saphenous vein can be used as a guide to the nerve, and the nerve can be used as a guide to dissecting the popliteal fossa. The nerve, which continues beneath the deep fascia of the calf, is a branch of the tibial nerve. Incise the fascia of the popliteal fossa just medial to the small saphenous vein. Trace the medial zural cutaneous nerve proximally back to its source, the tibial nerve. Dissect up to the apex of the popliteal fossa, following the tibial nerve, figure. The apex of the popliteal fossa is formed by the semimembranosus muscle on the medial side and the biceps femoris muscle on the lateral side. Roughly at the apex, the common perineal nerve separates from the tibial nerve. Dissect out the common perineal nerve in a proximal to distal direction as it runs along the posterior border of the biceps femoris muscle. Incise the fascia of the popliteal fossa just medial to the small saphenous vein. Trace the medial zural cutaneous nerve proximally back to its source, the tibial nerve. Dissect up to the apex of the popliteal fossa, following the tibial nerve, figure. The apex of the popliteal fossa is formed by the semimembranosus muscle on the medial side and the biceps femoris muscle on the lateral side. Roughly at the apex, the common perineal nerve separates from the tibial nerve. Dissect out the common perineal nerve in a proximal to distal direction as it runs along the posterior border of the biceps femoris muscle. Now, turn to the popliteal artery and vein, which lie deep and medial to the tibial nerve, figure. The artery has five branches around the knee, two superior, two inferior, and one middle genicular artery. One or more of these branches may have to be ligated if the artery needs to be mobilized, see figure. Now, turn to the popliteal artery and vein, which lie deep and medial to the tibial nerve, figure. The artery has five branches around the knee, two superior, two inferior, and one middle genicular artery. One or more of these branches may have to be ligated if the artery needs to be mobilized, see figure. The popliteal vein lies medial to the artery as it enters the popliteal fossa from below. Then it curves, lying directly posterior to the artery while in the fossa. Above the knee joint, it moves to the posterolateral side of the artery. Be very careful in mobilizing this structure. Intimal damage may cause thrombosis. Retracting the muscles that form the boundaries of the popliteal fossa exposes various parts of the posterior joint capsule. There are two ways to gain greater access to the joint if this is necessary. Posteromedial joint capsule. Detach the tendinous origin of the medial head of the gastrocnemius muscle from the back of the femur. 
retract the head laterally and inferiorly, pulling the nerves and vessels out of the way to reach the posteromedial corner of the joint. The exposure now is the same as that achieved by posterior extension of the medial approach to the knee, figure, posterolateral corner of the joint. Detach the origin of the lateral head of the gastrocnemius muscle from the lateral femoral condyle. Develop the interval between it and the biceps femoris muscle, creating the same exposure as in the lateral approach to the knee, see figure. Dangers. Nerves. The medial sural cutaneous nerve, which lies lateral to the small saphenous vein, may be damaged as it travels beneath the deep fascia of the calf. Incising the deep fascia of the calf medial to the vein, therefore, will preserve the nerve. Cutting the medial zural cutaneous nerve may produce a painful neuroma, but the resulting anesthesia usually is not significant. Figure dangers. The tibial nerve may be damaged in the popliteal fossa. Damage to the nerve at this level produces paralysis of all the flexors of the toes and feet. The common perineal nerve also is susceptible to damage in the popliteal fossa. Damage to the nerve at this level produces paralysis of the extensors and the averters of the foot. See figure. Dangers. Vessels. The small saphenous vein may need to be ligated, this is an uncomplicated procedure. The popliteal vessels can be damaged during deep dissection, producing ischemia of the calf and foot. See figure. Thanks for watching my video. Do not forget to subscribe my non-profit YouTube channel.